Hey what's up guys, OSJ here and I'm covering a system I hardly ever do, the NES. I'm carrying on with the racing game series, and although I don't cover much NES stuff, it's a system that is very close to my heart, and also my wife's, as I actually bought her a system when we first met. Anyway, enough about my love life, these are what I would say are the 20 best NES racing games in order of greatness. So let's kick it off with Final Lap in 20th place. There are loads of F1 games on this list, and this is very like Pit Stop 2, but as you can see the NES really gets some proper speed into the games, and it makes racing games on this system very good. Nineteen position is taken by F1 Race. I would say that this is Nintendo's version of pole position, and it's a good attempt. The game is fast, but also the collisions are a bit unforgiving, with your car exploding at the slightest touch. Mac Rider is in 18th place. This is a hang on meets road blasters type game, with some hard to master controls, but once mastered it becomes a really fast entertaining game. In 17th place we have Bill Elliott's NASCAR Challenge, the first game on the list with a cockpit view, and while it's very basic it's done pretty well. Again though it's one that takes a lot of getting used to, as the car handles like a shopping trolley in the corners. Sixteen position is taken by Nigel Mansell's World Championship. This is as close as we're going to get to Super Monaco on the NES. The cockpit view is very good for an 8-bit system. It's got real speed and the car controls well. Mix that with good sound and it's a solid F1 game. Galaxy 5000 is in 15th place. This is a weird space racing game that has some great voice samples and controls. Being able to take shortcuts by jumping over sections of the track make it a lot of fun to play. In 14th place is Danny Sullivan's Indie Heat, great part of the popular arcade game. I love the pit stops in this game seeing the team working frantically. The game itself is ok but it lacks the speed of the original. Thirteenth position is taken by Cobra Triangle. Now this is not strictly a racing game, but it's so good it deserves to be in, as it really doesn't fit into any genre, so racing is the closest, and this is one fun game.
Famicom Grand Prix is in 12th place. This is the only disc system game on the list and it's a good one. I loved F1 Dream on arcade and this is very similar. The racing while not lightning speed is fast enough to keep you going back for more. In 11th place is Al Unzer Jr. Turbo Racing. This and the next three games are pretty similar. It's a straightforward arcade racer that has a turbo button that sends you into breakneck speeds, like really fast. I love the screen shake when you hit the turbo. The position is taken by Formula 1, a bit of a weird name as you start off on a mini but no matter what car it is the game handles great and again we have a turbo button but on this one you have to be a little bit more selective on when to press it. F1 Sensation is in 9th place, very good F1 game here and it's got the mix of speed and skill just right and although it can be a bit annoying with the collisions, it's one that you quickly get better at. In 8th place is Rad Racer, this was Nintendo's answer to Outrun, yeah Nintendo never got Outrun, crazy that, but in this game they really delivered. I remember seeing this on the side of my NES box and asking my mum for it for my birthday and I wasn't disappointed. Seventh position is taken by Excitebike, probably my most played NES game. I used to play this for hours trying to get perfect runs, something that I seem to have lost the ability to do now. Super Sprint is in 6th place, this is a totally awesome part of the arcade, it's just so fast and the drifting is brilliant, I played this for a good hour while recording the footage and would have gladly played on, it's so good. In 5th place we have Super Off Road, the 4th racing list that this has been on and as with the other versions this one delivers the same great arcade action that we expect. Fourth position is taken by RC Pro Am 2. This is a follow up to RC Pro Am and it brought us more of the same fast fun action that we got from the original. This sequel actually looks better than the first game but gameplay wise it doesn't really exceed what we got with the original.
Mag Racer 2 is in third place. This game absolutely wipes the floor with any other 8 bit outrun games. It's got a really nice looking Ferrari, and while some people prefer the first game, this one delivers more of a fluent racing feel for me. In second place we have Micro Machines. Yes, it's not first, but it's still worthy of a top spot because it's a super smooth version of the game. I actually would say it's better than the Master System version, but for me, I have played this on so many systems that I wanted a change at the top. So here it is, in first place, RC Pro-Am. We actually owe this game for giving us the likes of rock and roll racing and super skid marks etc. This was, and still is, one of the best, if not the best, 8-bit racing game ever made. Ok that's it for this video, I've had a real blast making this list as all the games are ones that I would gladly pick up and play now. Please let me know in the comments below what your favourite NES racing games are and if you haven't already please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more great retro content. Till next time this is OSG signing out.